Hello everybody, and welcome to a new style of video I'm making on tutorials for how to get out of bounds. The first one we're doing is a sync box tutorial. We're going to go ahead and load up Nessus on the cistern and make our way to Glade of Echoes. Whenever you're doing a sync box, the goal is to have the sparrow spawn outside of the box, falling down through the death barrier and the box barrier. Now, if you don't know, the way Destiny 2 works is that you have a box barrier keeping you inside the map, so even if you get out of bounds, you're not necessarily out of the box. So being out of the playable box means you're free to sparrow fly virtually almost anywhere. The only other barrier is the true edge of the playable space, and no matter what, that's the complete cutoff of where you're able to go. We're using the Glade of Echoes here as just an example point, but any ledge usually works as long as it falls past the box barrier. Explaining sync box can be a bit challenging, so I've cut the video into two halves to show the person who's being synced out and the observer's POV. I'll have them labeled throughout the video for you. We're gonna go step by step just to show exactly how to do this process. It's gonna require two people for this to work. One person will be your observer, while the other person will be the one syncing out. As you can see, Infi is my observer. The first step for him is he's gonna be walking off the ledge to where he falls off the map on my screen but on his screen, he's still standing on the ledge. If you're on PC, a very easy way to do this is to swap your alternate keybind for moving forward as scroll wheel forward. That way when you're near the edge, you can just scroll wheel slightly until your observer falls off the map. Once your observer falls off the map, your observer is now what we call desync. What this means is that on your side, the game thinks that Infi is at the bottom of the map, but on Infi's side, the game thinks he's sitting right on top where he was before. Now, why is this important? It allows Infi to shoot my sparrow off without it updating on my side, and what allows the sync box to work. Now you're gonna wanna have two specific guns for this to work as well. Ideally a regular sniper and a gun with explosive rounds. Two very easy guns to use for this are the Aachen Sniper, which is a blue sniper in your primary slot, and the Madraguda, which is a blue secondary scout rifle. The Madraguda has explosive rounds, and the Aachen is just a good sniper for scoping in. So let's put it all together. Step one is that Infi is falling off the map and desynced. Step two is that your sparrow is placed near a ledge. Step three is that you yourself are standing on the ledge as well and looking straight down. What your observer is now gonna do is they're gonna shoot your sparrow off the edge. Once your sparrow falls, your observer is immediately gonna switch to a sniper and scope upward into the air. They're going to hold it for about 5 seconds, and after the 5 seconds have passed, they're going to let go and look down. When they look down, you're going to press Ride Sparrow. Timing is key with the sync box to work properly, because once they look down, it's going to update that position of the sparrow for you as well. If you follow it to a T on these steps, it will eventually work. And once done properly, you are out of box. So that's it. With that being said, this wraps up our first tutorial video. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more of these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep doing them, but it's gonna be a new kind of category for people who wanna learn out of bounds exploring. I know for sure we're gonna do a navigator flying tutorial, sword flying tutorial, and possibly an IRB tutorial. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.